It would not be a trip to Dubai unless you stop here at Saravan in Bahaman. This is our favorite South Indian restaurant. Back when we used to live in Dubai, we came here almost every week, multiple times a month anyway. And it's located in the Al Barsha neighborhood, just past Mall of the Emirates. You can actually walk from the Mall of the Emirates parking lot to the South Indian restaurant. And I'm telling you, it is the best. We love it here. And I'm excited to show you the food. All right, let's head inside. All right, so on the inside of the restaurant is this huge viewing window, and the best part is the Dosa station is right here. So you can tell this guy's a pro laying out a huge Dosa. And that's the fermented rice flour. Oh, he's going for two of them. They're connected. Just incredible skill, the way the guy's just rolling it out. Second nature, he's probably done this hundreds of times. He made three connections. Yeah. All right, so now he's adding all the ghee and uh, he is uh, giving healthy, generous amounts of that ghee. Very delicious looking. Way back in the corner here. That uh, little onion tomato chili, that's my appadam. So that'll be it's like a thick dosa with uh, all types of yummy flavors in there. Yeah, that is a uh, generous amount of ghee. You can see the way the ghee is just sizzling away on top of that Italy's. Those are gonna be good. So he's just rolling them now. They're gonna come out to our table and you can see paper thin, the way he can just pick that up so easily. Wow, that is just looking like a saturated ghee dosa heaven right there. And you can see all the chutneys. The guy's coming around the corner now. Let's see if we can catch him coming out the door. That's looking awesome. We always go a little overboard in here and you can see he, brought, he ordered four of these doses and they are huge. How's it look, Cedar? Good. Just like we remember. Oh wow, these are gonna be good. I can smell that ghee, the dosa, it smells delicious. Thank you, sir. Oh, soundbar's coming, all right. All right, so they are serving our food now and it's looking delicious again. We've got these humongous ghee dosas. We have all the soundbars. We've got the Italy's have just come out. Oh, thank you. This is the coconut. Oh, coconut chutney. And what is this one? Uh, Mali chutney. Okay, good, good, good. So all types of chutneys. My favorite is just to kind of hit them all at the same time rip off a piece. And this is again a fermented rice dough here. So we'll go right into the coconut chutney. Mm. Like just out of South India, it's delicious. Hit them all. That's the sign of a good ghee dosa. My fingers are already just covered in, in the ghee grease. Very delicious. All right, up next we've got the Italy's and this is the same type of dough as in the Dosas, except this one's steamed. Mm. And it's uh, it's very delicious with this tomato chutney. Oh, you want that in your chair? Mm. Yeah, fantastic. All of the gravies are looking delicious. We've got the tomato gravy. I believe this one's a coriander gravy. We've got the uh, coconut chutney and the sambar. All of this together, just, I mean, dunking and dipping. This is uh, where it's at. I'm gonna go right for the sambar here. Mm. It's tomatoey, it's spicy, it's everything you come to love out of all the South Indian flavors. Absolutely delicious. This is a heaven on earth if you're into South Indian food and if you've never tried that, this is the place to check it out. It's all so delicious. We'll touch base with you throughout the meal, but again, as you can see, we are loving the South Indian food. All right, just when things couldn't get any better, they brought out the fresh lime sodas. And this is a great concoction, so you've got in this cup, you've got lime juice, you've got simple syrup, and you've got salt. So it's just sort of like a heavy concentrate. And to it, they bring out the uh, soda waters. So you mix it yourself at the table.
And just like out of South India, here comes the fresh lime soda. Oh man, perfect. It's uh, salty, it's sweet, it's sour, it's bubbly, it hits it all. So the fresh lime soda is a great compliment to the meal. All right, and they just brought out even more drinks. Now we have our mango lassies and here for the four of you is Cedar. It's sweet with the mango and it's sour with the texture and it's really good. Do you recommend that uh, all seven-year-olds get a mango last year here at Saravano Bahavan? Yeah. Awesome, very good. All right, so as you're obviously aware at this point, Kelly and I love this place, but let's find out if this is a kind of a kid-friendly restaurant. We'll touch base with Granite about his dosa. The dosa is huge, but it's really good, so I can't really stop. And like, the favorite sauce is the sambar, because like, it's a little spicy and good at the same time. So would you would you call this a kid friendly restaurant? Yes. And do you like eating with your hands? Yes. Yeah, we don't get yelled at at you know at home. It's like no no eating with your hands, but in South India it's all about the hands. Cedar, do you like eating with your hands? Yeah. Boom. So it just adds to the fun of the restaurant. All right, we're gonna keep going. So believe it or not, after that huge dosa, I still have a little bit of room for a humongous apadam. The apadam is again that same batter as the dosa, except this is much more thick, like a kind of like an Indian pancake. And on the inside, you've got green chilies, you've got onion and tomato, and it is fantastic. Probably in a, any normal meal, you'd have this or the dosa, but uh, because we're only here just this one time on our Dubai trip, we're hitting the best of all worlds. Mm. It's just amazing, a wonderful flavor that it's like a, it's almost like a pizza with these toppings, a, a pancake pizza from South India. So I absolutely recommend the Apadams. Very, very good. So one of my favorites is the Idli, the mini Idli in um, Sambar. So you can either get the big cushy one and you can dip it in the Sambar, which comes in a little tiny dish. Or you can it comes all mixed together and you can just scoop it right out of out of the gravy right there. So it, this is <clears throat> one of my favorites and it's delicious. So let's give it a try. <laughs> it's a taste of India. I think we are all celebrating. I think our mouths are all celebrating today. <laughs> Well, sadly, it is time for us to leave the restaurant, but you can always take a little taste of the Indian sweets with you on your way out the door. But for us, the price was 200 dirhams. So a fantastic uh, taste of South India. We totally hit the spot, and we look forward to eating here again. Hopefully you do too.